Remove the packaging from your RE200 and lie it flat so you can pull out the contents easily. Make sure to double check that all of the parts have been included by referring to your manual. Take out the four large bolts from the plastic bag included and attach the front stabilizers to the base. Follow the same steps for the rear stabilizers on the other side. Next, locate the adjustable tube and remove the screws and washers that were pre-secured onto it. Fix the adjustable tube to the rear main frame using the same screws and washers that you've just removed. The next thing you want to do is remove the screws from the seat and backrest and attach them to the tube with the same screws that you've just removed. Connect the pulse wires from the rear of the handlebar to the base, then attach the handlebar to the bracket under the seat using the remaining bolts. You can temporarily remove the adjustment knob from the tube on the rear facing side to make it easier to attach the bolt. Next up, locate the pedals and make sure to identify which one is for the right side and which one is for the left. Attach each pedal to the corresponding cranks. Make sure to twist the right pedal clockwise and the left pedal anti-clockwise. Now you're going to need to attach the handlebar post to the base. You will need to use some force to pull up the tension cable and connect these parts effectively. Once you've done this, you can go ahead and connect the sensor wires. Next, attach the handlebars to the corresponding sides using the screws that are pre-secured into the base. Finally, connect the monitor to the base and remember to remove the back panel and add batteries before doing so.
now you're good to go.